Good morning, everybody. It finally happened. We've been waiting a long time. <sighs> we got snow. If you guys want, you can live vicariously through us. <laughs> We're back in the same spot we just uh, pulled Beeb's buck out of. Got some three, four day old snow. Three probably, days. I probably, probably at least three days old. There is a beast of a buck in here last time we knew, and if we could find some tracks, that'd be nice. We've been out of town to, to go visit, uh, help B process his deer, help Jimmy process his deer. Um, go see Casey's. Go see, go see the new Casey's baby. little boy. Go see my go nephew. Go see my grandson for the first time. <laughs> his name's Jordan. He's tiny. Yeah, Just like little Casey. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Casey and Haley, he's not exactly a giant. Hunting in the 60 degree sunshine has kind of made us soft. <laughs> it's cold out. Cool. Ready? Let's go. Let's do it. The snow has really, really brought visibility to the land. and You guys remember what this cut looked like beforehand. And now you can just see so much more depth. You get to see what's in between the trees and in the brush so much better. And I am going to go nice and slow because not only will I see them better, they will also see me. So I want to make sure that I have my chin up today. It actually feels like it's deer season now with the snow, which is extremely exciting. I hope that all of you are having good luck and I hope if you're not hunting on snow, you guys can get it done on bare ground. I know you can. You just have to go slow, keep your chin up, really look hard and just Stay calm and relax. Don't stress about not having snow. You know, because I mean, you could be on snow with no tracks like I am right now anyway. Okay. Uh, I've been three deer up through the side hill here um, a while ago. And a smaller buck kind of checking them out. One of the things to remember that is now that the chase and the uh, seek and the zombie walking has begun, the bucks will be on their feet and they'll be walking and moving along slow all the time. So do a lot of stopping. It's a little crunching in places, so I stop quite a bit. I do a lot of looking, always looking because if they're moving and you're not, you spot them. You know, so you got a better chance that way. And uh, let's see what happens. I haven't seen the big guy yet. That's what we really want to know. So I just got done working my way up out of those cuts. Normally all of the deer activity is on that little runway behind me. Right here, right in there. And I didn't see any deer traffic. Now it's not necessarily a bad thing. That just might mean that right now, or with this weather pattern, this isn't where they're hanging out. This isn't where the does are. So that's a good piece of information because if I come back here a few other times and for the rest of the season, there's no deer sign on that shelf. That means that this time of year, or this weather, they're not there. So, Beef shot his buck right over that little red line right there down over the other side. Him and I were standing by those spruces down there and we shot him out in the open. So, on bare ground, hot day. So if they are using this strip to go from one patch of cold woods to the other on hot days, I'm gonna wanna remember that. This is how we get our information, is where we're looking for patterns and we're scouting mid-season. The ability to do that and not relying on any um, information from cameras and stuff like that helps you adapt your hunting instantly and it helps you learn how to develop uh, information patterns and it helps you to really learn how to find deer on the fly, which is what we're all about. We don't do any pre-season. We don't do any scouting. The scouting that we do is during the season from last year, so we look for patterns. Plus the woods up here will just change. All of a sudden you'll come back and your hunting spot's gone. So, you know, we can't really leave cameras and stuff on trees during the summer, even if we wanted to, because they might cut them down. So that's something to remember, that if you can develop the ability to learn patterns and to find out where the deer are right now and go get them, you'll never be dependent on anything else, and that's what we're all about. When we come up over these shelves, we gotta go real slow and really scan. Do one quick scan, and then go back through real slow and look everything over. That's how you're gonna spot them the best. Okay, got what looks to be a little buck 
pester in a dome. Uh, precious track I've come across over here. And the big guy is either in the middle or up ahead here somewhere. He hasn't come out of this area. Even old, he hasn't come out, so he's somewhere in that direction. And uh, I'm just going to take these two because they're the freshest and nicest. Hopefully they'll lead me to something or they let me film them. Um, not a, too bad a buck. Pretty decent. Uh, he's following the dome. He's cutting corners or something, so he's not too far behind it. I don't know how many people know too much about deer, but it's almost four inches wide. When you have a buck track that's almost as big as your boot and is brighter than your hand, this thing is a 250, 260 giant. What a dream to shoot this buck, to even get on a fresh track of his. here somewhere somewhere yeah I don't want to shoot him uh. just walking and grunting and going easy and he was standing there and he let me. You know, the wind finally screwed me and away he went. That was awesome. Let's see if we can find a big guy. Well, I've been swinging the entire barnyard where all the deer sign is and uh, I got up high, I'm at the upper limit. I jumped, I jumped some moose back there and I was, I just saw something go through the woods and I was like, oh. Because jumping anything in here could mean you're jumping him. So I went up there and it was just moose, just moose track. And I just saw some white go through. It must have been their legs, the gray or whatever on their legs. And of course I'm looking up through this stuff. And it's crunchy and loud walking. But I start skirting on this moosey trail. I look down there's a deer bed. And that, in that deer bed, that looks like a horn. Oh. It is. <laughs> I wouldn't want to lay on that, but. All right, throw him another point up on the board. I gotta find a spot for it. Back onto this freaking monster. Okay, update. Right after that little buck, uh, he ran along the top of the mountain and he came onto Taylor's track and he didn't like that. And he turned and went kind of opposite the other direction down over away from the rig. So I kept following Taylor's track and I told him, I said, the buck's got me over the other way. And he said, well, I've got the bigger one. It's old and I'm just taking it down through here trying to learn it a little bit. So I follow Taylor's track down the hill and he gets on a shelf and starts headed east and I said oh he won't go that way very far and he's going to turn and come back west again. Drop down on the next shelf. So I just left Taylor and the deer and dropped down on the next shelf and there goes Taylor and the old deer headed up onto the next one and then fresh right over the top of it comes the little buck.
and he looks like he's running down the road in front of me towards the truck. So maybe I can get him on film again. Unless it's a different deer, I don't know. Looks like a buck though, the way it's walking. And it's it's acting like it's the same deer. So let's go see if we can see him again. I didn't go 50 yards and the deer was right over the bank right there and I, I couldn't get him on film. But he's circling back out, right headed right towards Taylor again. Looks like he laid down just, just down on the hill right here. <laughs> I could have shot him, but I couldn't get the camera on fast enough to get on him. I came over the bank. It's so crusty, crunchy, and he was about 25 yards, but I'm getting pretty close to him. The first time I, I jumped him, I want to say I was 20 feet, but this time here I was 25, 30 yards, and he could hear me, and he shot out of his bed and took off. But same deer. I just jumped a couple of deer. One was a small one, and the second one I just saw movement go. I thought I could hear uh, horns in the brush, but hard to tell. It opens up, and the cuts of that beaver and I got his buck in or down below me. I've circled the entire mountain and come up over the top, and there's a big track in here, and hopefully he wasn't in there. But at least I freshened him up. So I'm just going to go real slow, see if I can see him. Well... I followed that track that went that I just jumped and uh, maybe it was only one deer but I could have swore it was two. Maybe I haven't hit the other one yet. Probably farther down in the cut. But. This is that running track. I don't think it's all that big of a deer. It might be a decent sized buck but it's not a big boy. Which is good. Pretty windy. Pretty cold. Awesome day. Been waiting a long time for this weather. I know. So, Dad's up on the mountain somewhere behind me. I just heard him scratch on the radio a little bit, but I haven't seen him all day. I haven't heard much about what he has going on. Who it is? Winter is upon us. Quite a day, huh? Stuck in the buck today. You did? He was as dead as dead comes. Just yeah. as dead as Jimmy Spikehorn. A little more dead. Can't wait to see it. Cool. Well, made it back to the truck. Woo. Turn the coffee maker on? Yeah. You could use one right about now. Yeah, coffee's gonna be great. So guys, first day on snow. Felt really good to get out there, to walk on track, to look down and see deer tracks. Tracked a giant, wasn't fresh, but this is the biggest deer we know about. It is a monster. We've been after him for two years so far. And we're so glad that it not only was you know bees deer but the, this deer and then there's another deer that's almost as big as right. him that I think I'd shoot either one of them uh. buck um, but the, the big big one's the one you really want he's got some age another great day back in Maine on snow chasing around monsters can't ask for much more than that thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button if you like these hunting vlogs updates big buck videos and hunting tips we put them out weekly and we'll see you tomorrow.